Being a working mom is most definitely a tough balancing act, but being a military mom takes a special type of devotion and focus. WJCL 22 News' Lydia Blackstone takes a closer look at how four of the 165th Airlift Wing's finest managed to serve their country while raising a family. She shares their story. It's, it's very common for them to like see a C-130 flying over and they're like, hey, mom, look, it's your airplane, you know? Getting to say your mom does this. Like, super cool. <laughs> but making it look easy isn't always so easy. Okay, well, what time is takeoff? I have yeah. to coordinate two kids. Having to leave for weeks or months at a time is hard. These four moms proudly serve in the 165th Airlift Wing in public affairs as nurses in operations and in the air. I love serving because I'm able to create a better world for my kids and everyone else's kids. Whether it's four kids or 1,400 airmen, they all are pretty good at this. Good crisis management. For Tech Sergeant Caitlin McBride, service runs in her family. She says becoming a mom only made her better at her job. With the humanitarian missions, you see people at their absolute worst. They just need extra compassion and just a loving face and it's just something that I feel like as a mom has kind of given me that extra layer and that extra oomph. A similar experience for nurse and guardsman Julie Blissett. I am a nurse and thankfully one of the nurses that do have a caring, compassionate heart and having the children just kind of soften that more. A superhuman task being 100% in everything you do. 45 minute drive from my home helps with that, with that switch off too. So you can, I can get into the mode of, okay, now I have to be boss lady and get the job done and focus on the mission. And then when I drive from work back home, I can slowly switch on to the mom brain. The lows made up for by the ones supporting them at home. I returned from my trip to a, a beautiful written card from my uh, six-year-old and it said, I love you, mommy, because you serve in the military and keep us safe. At the Air Dominance Center, Lydia Blackstone, WJCL 22 News. And thank you all.